Protozoa Occurrence and structure of protozoa Proto means first and zoon means animal. Protozoa are the most primitive single-celled microscopic animals. Amoeba Paramecium Euglena Antamoeba and Plasmodium are some common protozoa. Most protozoa occur single, but some are colonial also. They do not possess cell wall, as in plant cells. Their body is either covered with plasma membrane alone, or is surrounded by a pellicle. Pellicle is a thin layer supporting the cell membrane in some protozoa. They can swim using the flagella or cilia or can move with the help of pseudopodia. The single cell protozoan performs all the life processes. Nutrition and reproduction in protozoa. Protozoa have animal-like nutrition, which is called holozoic nutrition. Food is digested inside the food vacuole. Some protozoa are parasitic. They live inside animal cells, in alimentary canal, or in blood and lymph. Absorb digested food and cause diseases in man and domestic animals. Protozoa multiply by binary fission, multiple fission, and spore formation. Some protozoa reproduce sexually also. Some common protozoa. Amoeba. Amoeba is the simplest protozoan. Amoeba are unicellular microscopic organisms. They are irregular in shape. Locomotion, that is movement, takes place by means of pseudopodia, that is false feet, which are merely extended parts of the cell membrane. Pseudopodia also help the amoeba to catch its prey, such as algae, bacteria, etc., by simply engulfing them with the body. The amoeba's body flows around the food particle and engulfs it. Enzymes are secreted in the body by the food vacuole, with the help of which the food material is digested. Amoeba reproduces by binary fission. Paramecium Paramecium is a slipper-shaped unicellular protozoan commonly found in water. It is a free-living or parasitic animal. Its cell membrane is covered all over by hair-like cilia, which help the animal to swim by beating, that is flagellating, the cilia in the water. Cilia also help the paramecium to catch its prey. There is an oval groove into which food and water are directed by the cilia. The food finally goes into the body and gets digested by the food vacuole. Its food is mainly algae and bacteria. It reproduces by binary fission. Euglena Euglena is a green 
autotrophic flagellate protozoan. It is found in ponds, ditches and pools having a lot of vegetation. Euglena has a spindle-shaped body. A whip-like flagellum arising from its interior end helps in locomotion. The cytoplasm has a large centrally located nucleus. A number of chloroplasts and pyrenoids for storing starch and a contractile vacuole. Euglena reproduces by binary fission only. Comparison between harmful and useful protozoa. Useful protozoa help in the breakdown of wastes as they feed on fungi and bacteria. While Trypanosoma brucei, a parasitic protozoan, lives in the bloodstream of organisms and causes a disease known as sleeping sickness. Useful protozoa. Some are symbiotic in nature, thus helping benefiting other organisms in many ways. While harmful protozoa, like Antamoeba histolytica, lives in the large intestine of humans and causes amoebic dysentery. Useful protozoa are useful for students who are learning the basics of important cell functions. While harmful protozoa, Antamoeba gingivalis, lives in the mouth cavity of humans and causes infection. Viruses and its types Viruses are the smallest and the most primitive acellular microorganisms. They are obligate parasites. They can multiply only inside cells of the host organisms, which can be bacteria, plant, or animal cells. Viruses are of the following three types. Plant viruses, which multiply inside the plant cells. For example, tobacco mosaic virus. Animal viruses, which infect animal cells. Example, HIV. Bacteriophages, which occur as parasites on bacteria. Size and shapes of viruses. Viruses appear as particles. The size of a virus ranges from 0.015 to 0.2 microns. They are so small that they can only be seen through an electron microscope. They do not have a cellular structure. In fact, they are nothing but a tiny speck of nuclear material. They either have DNA or RNA as genetic material coated with protein. They live as parasites, that is, they obtain their nutrition from the host's body. Viruses come in a variety of shapes, such as spherical, rod-shaped, polygonal, or cuboidal. Multiplication in viruses Viruses multiply only when they enter a host body. They do not have to use any energy for growth. Reproduction takes place fast inside a host cell and gives rise to hundreds of viruses. Then the host cell bursts and the new viruses are released which may now infect other healthy cells. This way, more healthy cells are destroyed by viruses and gradually the entire host body becomes infected. 
When found outside of host cells, viruses exist as a protein coat or capsid, sometimes enclosed within a membrane. Viruses infect plants, animals, human beings, and even bacterial cells. A virus which infects a bacterial cell is called a bacteriophage. It uses the bacterial cell as host body. Harmful effects of virus. Viruses cause many diseases in plants, animals, and human beings. In human beings, they cause many diseases. We will discuss only the common ones, such as cough and cold, followed by sore throat, which is a common problem. Yes, I'm sure you faced it too. Virus poliomyelitis causes polio, which affects the limbs and leads to paralytic effect, that is, it causes loss of ability to move the limbs properly. The measles virus causes measles indicated by rashes all over the body. The HIV virus causes the dreaded disease called AIDS, which is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. In animals, the foot and mouth disease virus, that is FMDV, causes foot and mouth diseases. In plants, leaves of the tobacco plant may be infected by tobacco mosaic viruses.